gubernatorial candidate James Duke Iona says the rail transit project from Kapolei to Honolulu may not be financially viable. And Iona lives in Kapolei. Now, he's especially critical of Mufi Hanneman's predictions of how many jobs it will create. KITV 4's Daryl Huff in our newsroom to explain. Daryl? Laura, the lieutenant governor's strong criticism of the rail project dominated a news conference he called to talk about his plan to create jobs. We asked him why he didn't mention the project for its potential to help the economy. We need jobs now. We need it right now. Supporters of the Honolulu Rail Transit, especially former Mayor Mufi Hanneman, say construction design and engineering jobs will be an immediate benefit to the economy from the $5 billion train system. But Lieutenant Governor Iona wonders if the system will actually drain the economy. And I don't believe that the contingencies that they built into it are satisfactory enough for, uh, for us to be uh, economically, uh, to make this an economically feasible project. Construction of the rail system is being financed by an excise tax surcharge on Oahu and federal money. Governor Lingle is holding up the environmental impact statement while she gets an independent financial review. Iona's ideas for job creation include streamlining permits, but not streamlining approval for the rail project. Until I can get a satisfactory answer in regards to how are we going to maintain it, I got to question the financial aspect of this whole project. And the, and the wisdom of going forward now during this time period with a project that big. Iona admits even if elected, he probably couldn't stop the project, again, but its uh, success may it's require it's state and city on cooperation. On Hanneman's top opponent in the Democratic primary, Neil Abercrombie, unveiled a plan for the state today which saves a short mention of rail for the last page, expressing concern that it developed properly. Any project creates jobs. The question is, is whether the jobs are connected to uh, a rational and reasonable program of, uh, of uh, uh, housing and education. Both Iona and Abercrombie rolled out centerpiece plans for the state and the economy today. We'll get into those issues on our 6 o'clock news. Laura. All right, thanks.